like professional swimmers like you, I just think the first thing I think is all that chlorine I know is going it. to kill you. Totally. I hope not kill you, but like you, <laughs> you do know that chlorine is not healthy and that everything seeps through your skin. I mean, anything you put on your skin, it's not, of course, exactly like drinking it, but it is a small version of right. it. Right. So if you spend like eight hours a day in a pool, like day after day, I can't believe that is not going to have a very harmful effect. I mean, I didn't have eyebrows for my whole life until I graduated and finally my eyebrows came back because of the chlorine and the bleach oh, and the pool just because of the stripped them off. I had no eyebrows. I thought I didn't have eyebrows. <laughs> Maybe Until, you were an albino. No, I know. No, but don't. I was more apt to believe that. And you're starving yourself of oxygen for, you know, 18 years of my life. You're told not to breathe. It's like, that can't be good for your brain. <laughs> told not to breathe because you're, because in swimming, yeah. like, we have to take in oxygen. Yeah, but you're supposed to limit your oxygen. Really? Yeah. Like in the 100 freestyle, you only breathe. A total of like. Yeah, I feel breathing does not get the respect it deserves in this country. Like, in <laughs> because of the pandemic, I was never down with the masking. First of all, they've studied it now since, and it really didn't do much. Right. I mean, there are, of course, you know, as everything in this country gets so politicized, you're either Absolutely. like if you're, if you're for masks, you're <laughs> a, a liberal who's a good person, and if you're, it's not that simple. Of course, there are situations where masks are. Good. Right. Surgery. Right. Like preventing a big gob of snot from falling out of your face. There we go. When you're leaning over someone's open heart. I'm so I'm <laughs> For so pro mask. Yes. <laughs> and of course and even with the pandemic, I'm sure there are some masks and some situations where it does make sense. But in general it was a lot of bullshit. And Absolutely. what was never brought up, except by me, of course, the crazy comedian who knows nothing about health. <laughs> and yet all my predictions turn out to be true about it. Like, it's very bad for you to be breathing in your shitty, stale carbon, carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. All the people who like going nuts, as they should, about right. global warming, which is that. Right. Right, CO2. <laughs> but this CO2 that you're actually, it's like we're standing behind a bus. <laughs> Where <laughs> like is Greta Thunberg talking about this stuff? <laughs> I know. Right. I know. It's... Do you know her? <laughs> Don't. You're like the same age. You could be, you could be friends. You could go be see partners in crime. You go see Barbie together. <laughs> Dang it! I'm in my pink. <laughs> Is it too late to call Greta? Can I, we get her here? <laughs> I, I want that to happen. Can I we want get Greta you, here? No, I want you to. to hey, thanks for watching the clip. Hit the subscribe button now so you never miss out on our club random content that's posted daily.